one, two, testing one, two, three. This is uh, this is cool being in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> maybe maybe flying around. <laughs> it's a green screen. In case you didn't pick up by now, just wrapped up actually on a five-hour shoot at the school that I used to work at, and just figured while I've got the green screen, while I've got the lighting, everything set up, let's uh, record a really short video. Another quick update. So. Where am I? I am back in Rockhampton again, which is seemingly where I tend to record a lot of updates and a lot of vlogs because I have a little bit of extra time too. But since my last video updating about the business, there's been a lot of things that have happened since then. I think I filmed the last business life update around the end of June and now it's mid-September. Actually, it's late September. So almost a full quarter of the year has gone by. And in this quarter, we have had the craziest couple of months, the most insane opportunities, and some of the most exciting and scary parts of the business to date. So right now, I've hired my first permanent employee. All right, what are we doing? What are you, what are you up to? Signing my life away to Brown Fox. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so I'm paying wages, which is exciting and scary. The process has been such a learning journey of actually about two months of just getting up to speed, getting myself up to speed and understanding everything about HR, regulations, awards, wages, all these sorts of things, payroll. And I'm still learning this obviously, but it's one of the things that I was working towards at the very beginning of the year to have someone on as a permanent employee. And now we've, now we're there and he's a great fit. I'm aligning to the fact that I've been told that you hire off attitude and character and you can teach people skills. And I'm really believing that this is gonna work out. What else has happened? We've had some of our biggest months to date. August and September are by far the biggest months of Brown Fox in terms of revenue, in terms of actual projects that we're doing, actual proposals that have gone out the door. And so my comfort level in pitching projects, in selling projects, in closing projects, and scoping out bigger, bigger productions that involve more than one person, uh, two, three, four man crew, have also increased. My understanding of what happens and what needs to be done has increased. And we've also shot for some incredible clients having incredible opportunities. In the last three months, we've done a lot of work. We've been so fortunate, so humbled to have a lot of work through contracting for Hillsong Church, which is where I attend, but also the most incredible opportunity came up to be able to help with a shoot because of the lockdowns in Sydney. And that's where we've had the opportunity to film a lot of the Sunday Night Illustrated productions that have gone on Church Online. And then we did a full worship record, a 12 hour record of six different worship sets that have been coming out of Brisbane Central and gone online worldwide for the greater church. And so wrapping my head around a production like that and understanding and getting it, seeing it all come together and then watching it online has been the most incredible thing. Oh, That's okay. a wrap. <laughs> like I've said to many people, if you told me even six months ago that these were the opportunities that were gonna come up in 2021, I would have not believed you. I would have <laughs> thought that was crazy. Crazy. Some of the opportunities that have come up have been things that I didn't even know to dream for, or to dream about. And it's just, I very, feel very grateful, very humbled and honored that we have the opportunity to do this. Also understanding, getting the opportunity to understand the kind of work that I really love, the kind of people that I want to work with and work for. And the coolest thing for me is that the opportunity to work with Christian organizations, to do things like original content series, to do church worship productions, things like that, are things that I didn't dream about. Projects that are gonna go on online streaming platforms and be some of the most ultimately valuable content that we're able to produce. And to be able to be professionally engaged to do that, that's something that I could not have imagined when we started, when I started Brown Fox a couple of years ago. And yeah, it's a wild ride. And I'm so excited to see what else this year is gonna hold, what other exciting opportunities because there's still three months left of the year and I've still got a lot of bigger dreams and goals even beyond this year. But yeah, I'm excited to see what happens next. I know that at the end of the year, I'm gonna film another lessons I've learned, actually not just in 2021, but in my 20s. And already one of the things that 
I'm gonna touch on later as one of the biggest learnings of 2021 is that consistency, just going in, putting in work, even when no one's watching, just every day, building every day, building skill, building competence, building all of the things without anyone even knowing. And one day an opportunity will land where preparation meets opportunity and there are some incredible things that come as a result. And I feel like this year I've definitely seen the fruits of that. It's also made me realize that as I increase in capacity, as I feel myself increasing in capacity and competence, I can feel my spheres of influence changing. Like I want to always be able to invest time in, with people who are a little bit earlier on in the journey, with people who are on a similar path of life and same values and people who are far ahead that I want to learn from as well. But I feel like as time is moving on, my sphere of influence is changing that I have less, I'm finding that I'm having less patience for things or talk or conversations that I would have had, things that I would have said about five years ago. And I can see now another byproduct of that is that time is so valuable and I'm learning to value my own time and that I only want to be able to, I want to be able to help as many people as I can, but I can only help people that want help. And I can't force people, even if I see opportunities because I've been that, I've been there, been down that path before. People don't, people will do what they want to do. And I wouldn't have listened to me if I was five years ago. If I said something to myself five years ago and said, do this because it'll result in what you want, I wouldn't have probably listened or I would have taken a long time to action it. And I have to remember that. I have to empathize with people who are at those stages where I've been. And so I don't even know how I got on that topic, but it's just on my mind. But hey, still learning. I'm also realizing that the more and more experience that I have, the more I realize that you never really feel like you know it all or you can't or you shouldn't. Because I feel just as I guess overall out of my depth right now than I, as I did a couple years ago when I first started the journey out of, I guess, on the road to running a full-time business. But I feel like that's also where I'm meant to be. I feel like I'm always meant to be one step out of my comfort zone. Otherwise, if I feel comfortable, I'm not growing. And so I guess this is all there to say. If you or watching this video and you know, maybe you know me personally, or you've been watching a little bit of the journey and the vlogs over the years, that I would tell myself in that first video that I put up on YouTube about starting a new YouTube channel, I would tell myself to just do it, to just do what I was doing. It's always better to do than, than to think about doing. Anyways, that was pretty deep. I don't know where I've landed in my green screen background so far. Maybe I could transport myself back to the office. Anyways, wherever you are in your journey, go for it, crush it. And I will continue making some updates as the months go on and maybe some more actual vlog content. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys and girls on the next video. See ya. this video because well today's the day that I've decided to go all in today's the day that I've decided to put everything that I've been reading and learning about into practice and stop meandering about trying this and trying that and really focusing down on one thing and trying to make that thing work and so today I'm letting you all know that I'm focusing down on my creative freelancing it's been such a journey over the last year since I started putting things out on social media, YouTube, Instagram. And if you followed me for any length of time, then you would have seen the progression in me trying to figure out what I want to be doing, figuring out my side hustles, trying different things, Amazon, FBA, Shopify, cryptocurrency. And in the last couple of months, I haven't really been doing anything other than investing in myself, reading lots and lots of books, listening to podcasts, 
praying, really thinking about what it is that I want to be doing with my life. Everything has led to the same thing and that is really to focus on my creative abilities. So you're hearing it here first that nothing else at the moment is a priority apart from building up my creative side hustle. And I'm filming this video as not only a way to vent it but also to kind of keep me accountable in a sense so that you can follow this as part of my journey and development and yeah keep me accountable in case I decide to randomly do something else. I've had a couple great chats with some friends of mine who have really been doing well with their creative work and it's really inspired me to not worry so much about the money, not worry so much about what people think but just to just get in there and start from the bottom and make my way up and that's what I'm doing. Today, as of today, I'm calling it, I am officially, finally, finally just calling myself a creative freelancer. And yeah, everything leading up to this has been a part of the journey. Lately, taking up a minimalistic and intentional lifestyle has really helped me to focus down on what matters, on what's important, and it's just being creative. So here we go, I'm excited to see what the next little bit of time brings along my path and I hope that you're sticking with me on the journey and I hope you enjoyed this little rant so I will see you guys and girls on the next one.